Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you the makeup I brought with me on my two and a half week trip to the Mediterranean. So a few things I was thinking about when I was packing and in some cases didn't think through enough. We're gonna go through that in the video, but I was keeping in mind that my skin was gonna get a little bit more tanned. It'd be hot and sweaty, so I really wanted to lock my makeup in place and I wanted just versatile looks that would look pretty in pictures, pretty in person, and I could do once and not worry about my makeup for the rest of the day. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep watching because I'm going to show you everything that fits inside this bag. Not my regular filming setup. I'm filming live in Positano. This is the hotel room we're staying in. And just look at that gorgeous, gorgeous tile work. So anyways, this is not my home. This is my hotel room in Positano. Um, and I'm filming it live from my trip. So now that we've put that aside, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with the eyeshadow. So I brought six eyeshadow palettes on my trip. Let's start with Charlotte Tilbury. So I've got Star Aura, which I've used quite frequently. Celestial Pearl, which I've used once. Uh, Pillow Talk Dreams, which I haven't worn. Um, this Dior one, what's it called? Nude Dress, I have not worn that one on our trip. I think I haven't really reached for this one because it's more cool tone, we'll get into that. Then I've got my NARS Orgasm Quad, which I have worn, and my Tom Ford Dilichrome, which I've worn pretty frequently. So across the board, I found that because I've gotten quite a tan while I've been in the Mediterranean, I've been really reaching for my warmer tone eyeshadow. So this has been my number one go-to. I find this one is definitely more cool tone, so I just haven't reached for it. Um, and I've been wearing Star Aura a fair bit, even though it, I don't know, it's a little bit more cool tone with the pink. Um, I do find it's quite flattering on me with the tan. This one, the sparkle's fun. And this one, um, I thought that I would want to go out and about and be wearing kind of more like fun eyeshadows. But for the most part, I'm just kind of doing my makeup once for the day. Something neutral and pretty in photos. So this one is pretty in photos, but a little, I don't know, I just haven't really been reaching for it. So anyways, those are the six eyeshadows. And I'd say that... I mean, look, no one's ever accused me of packing lightly. Um, it's something I'm incapable of. But I think that if I was going to do it again, I could probably survive with, I mean, survive, like none of this is necessary, but probably Star Aura, uh, NARS Orgasm, and Tom Ford Dilichrome. Those would probably be the only three that I would bring if I was doing another Mediterranean trip. But you know what? One of the fun things about having a big makeup collection is having options. And I've enjoyed having options on my trip. I just didn't think that I'd be constantly reaching for the same ones. So next up, something I also have not used. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Instant Look in a Palette in Stone Rose. And I just haven't really reached for this. I thought I would use it as kind of a one and done look. But I don't know. I enjoy having options. So good to know. I feel like this would be good for a weekend trip. But it just... I found that maybe the eyeshadows are a little bit more heavy and intense than what I've been going for, which has been more of a soft wash of color. So I've got Hermes's Rose Poivre, Desert Orchid by Pat McGrath, and Charlotte Tilbury First Love. Now back to that Mediterranean tan that I've been speaking about. I've honestly only worn, um, actually I wore this one once, but every other day of this trip I've been wearing the Hermes Rose Poivre, and I just think it's because it has a nice flush of color. I really, really do love this. This is one of my all-time favorite blushes, but I just, I think when I was packing, I was in my winter complexion, and I didn't realize how quickly summer would come to me on this vacation. So this one I love with a tan. I think it is super flattering. Um, I realize I don't look super tanned, but this is me tanned. And anyways, this one I've been reaching for time and time again. So I was going to do it again. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I would just bring the one. Okay, so for highlighters, I brought the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and the Dior Highlighting Quad. And I've worn this one once or twice, but again, it's more cool toned. And this one is still kind of cool tone, but I find the gold and the bronze kind of warm it up. So I've worn this all but two days, which I wore this one. So if I was going to do it again, I would just bring the Dior. And over to kind of finishing out our face powders, we have our setting powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I've worn this every day to set my makeup in. My mini film star bronze and glow in the light medium. Again, I haven't actually worn the highlighter in it, but I'm wearing the bronzer all the time. And then I also brought my Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush bronzer. This is shade two. I brought it because I thought I might get a bit of a tan, um, which I know contradicts what I just said, but I thought I might get a bit of a tan and that maybe this bronzer would be too light for me or that I'd want the deeper bronzer. But to be honest, I haven't used this once. So I've just been using these two. 
So if I were to do it again, I would not bring my larger bronzer. Nobody needs to bring this many lip products, um, especially when they're all in the same kind of range. I did pare it down before coming, but I brought a MAC lip gloss, I brought two Charlotte lip glosses, and one of these Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, which I really enjoy. We've got uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kiss, <laughs> Hyaluronic Happy Kiss and Pillow Talk. And then we've got two of her normal lipsticks, American Sweetheart and Stone Rose. I chose those because they're a little bit more warm. And then we have Dance Floor Princess here from her Hot Lips 2 range. Then we have Chanel's Rouge, Coco Bloom, and Chance. I also have Dream, and I wanna say that I have another lip gloss or two hanging around all my different day bags, but this is approximately how many lipsticks I brought. Do I need this many? No, have I enjoyed them? Yes. What I will say is I have really just been wearing my lighter Chanel glossy ones or lip gloss most days. So while we were on the plane, um, I, so I keep these all in a makeup bag. I'll show you my organizing system after, but I kept these all in a makeup bag and unfortunately this had a big spill. I don't even know how much product I lost, but I'm really disappointed. And I had all of these products covered in makeup. I managed to clean up most of them. I just didn't finish cleaning the blush. Um, so I actually haven't used any of these. So what I was using for my foundation was either Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, which is what I wore most days, or the Chanel CC Cream. I've also got a mini of the Hollywood Flawless Filter and a NARS concealer in the shade Vanilla. So that's what I've been using for my sort of base products. I've been kind of switching between these two, usually wearing this and always wearing that. And all of these I meant to wear, um, but they were just such a mess and I didn't really want to deal with it. Which just goes to show that I could have brought just this and been perfectly happy. So I'm glad I had the experience. I did also bring a liquid blush, which obviously I just didn't wear. So I have a mini of my Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder, and this was full when I left. Look at how much I've used up. So I'm really proud of myself. I think when I'm traveling, I'm just really proud of myself for using the products I bring. Of course, my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly, which I use as a base. I also brought my Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Marie Antoinette. I believe it's now called Oyster Pearls, um, but I've been using that often as a one and done shadow. I brought three mini fragrances, so I've got Jo Malone, um, Honeysuckle, got Nest Wild Poppy, and Nest Gold Nectar. These are both 100 point perks at Sephora, so it's nice to have some fragrant options, but in a really small one. Um, I also add the Hermes Twilly, which, like I said, got makeup all over it. So moving into what I like to call my makeup sticks. So for mascara, for a full size, I brought the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Also brought a mini of Volume Chanel. And I forgot that I had this in my purse when I was traveling, but this is the Red Beauty Mascara and then the Dior um, Mascara Primer. Heading into, let's get into shadow sticks. I brought the um, Chanel, Chanel, the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon in Cosmic Gold, which I have not worn. But I also brought it in Pillow Talk. And when I was wearing it, I got a compliment I want to say it was in my Instagram stories. It might have been on the post being like, what's your eye look? It was literally just this. Um, so maybe I'll do a look with that. I accidentally brought two of my Tom Ford eye defining pens, but I cannot live without that. So every time I've winged liner, I'm always wearing that. And then I've got some black and brown eyeliners from mostly Charlotte Tilbury. I've got a Bare Minerals and a KVD, which is not Kat Von D anymore. Um, and then I also brought the Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk eyeliner, which I didn't wear because I didn't wear the Pillow Talk eyeshadow I meant to wear it with. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have one more lip liner, but I have at least these two. One is by Dominique Cosmetics and one is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. They are both in that very nude neutral family. And for brows, I brought my Charlotte Tilbury Trio. I wear taupe. And then I also brought the Merit um, brow gel setting thing. Sorry, <laughs> I'm tired. Um, and then the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade two. So I've mostly been wearing my Charlotte, but it's nice to have the options. And that is all of the makeup I brought with me on my trip. Yes, it's excessive, but I'm very proud of myself because it all fits in one bag. So I'm gonna show you how I pack it. So this is the makeup travel case I use. It's from Ipsy, it was an Ipsy bag. Um, I want to say it was a Glam Bag Plus or something a while ago. Anyway, so in this top compartment, I keep some Band-Aids, some Q-tips, which are you know great for makeup, brow, you know, little brow things, hair clips, just a nice little mix. It's sort of a bit of everything. And then in this pocket, I just have some of those travel bags that you need um, if you're bringing liquids and carry-on and then just a little extra moisturizer. So this has all my eyeshadows and some additional face powders. And then I just zip it up 
like that and I feel like it gives it just a little bit more protection. So we're gonna repeat that for our other powders. So this is where I keep all my brushes and they do need to be cleaned so I'll do that before I show you but I just keep my Tom Ford in there because they're longer and that holds all my brushes. So this is the bag where I keep my makeup that got a little messy. Now, when I go to get on the plane, these will actually, the lips, I have another bag and they'll just end up in my checked baggage. Just that way it doesn't contribute towards my liquids. But I like to have all my makeup in the same place when I'm traveling. So most of the stuff in the bags, all the non-liquids are going to stay as they are when we get on the plane. And I just take out the liquids. A little fragrance. Ready, little fragrances. And now it's just kind of fitting things in where they fit. Oh, you can hear my husband is doing his hair. So there we go, it's not perfect, but let's zip it up. And there you have it, all the makeup I have brought with me on this trip. Yes, it's a lot, but my rule was it had to fit in here. So I'm very proud of myself that this is all I brought. Um, if you were here for minimalist makeup packing, I'm not for you. But what I will say about what I packed is, what I'm hoping with this video is that you've had a chance to see what I used versus what I thought I'd use. So I think I could pack a little bit lighter next time. Um, but I probably won't.